Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Terraria. I just realized I actually have no idea what to do now. <laughs> Can you believe that? I, uh, I mean, shocker, right? But yeah, I was so focused on getting this ring and grinding for it and building the grinder and all that stuff. I, I don't actually know what to do. And I just talked to the guide and I'll save you some time. But he basically told me to go smash shadow orbs. And I was like, what? I've, I've already done that. So why are you telling me to go smash shadow worms. So I figured I would just go to the east, and the whole time I go to the east, I would uh, go ahead and lay down some quad color, like all the colors, teleporter pipe, or wire I mean, just so I have it. I bought a bunch, and it looks like, you know, even though I bought a bunch, it's not gonna be nearly enough, oh my gosh. Because I have teleporters with me. The hell? Oh, it's that! Right. I have some sort of thing equipped. The Violet Star Veil causes stars to fall and increases length of invincibility after taking damage. That seemed like a good thing to equip, I thought. I don't know why my pet's not killing these guys, though. Like, actually. What are you doing, buddy? Why are you not helping me? The main thing is that uh, it increases the length of your invincibility which, when you're fighting a boss, can actually result in a tremendous increase to your durability, basically. Alright, I'm out now. So I've got my flying stuff, I've got my anti-lava stuff. I guess I'll... F yeah, probably flying on the bee is the fastest way to get across. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go over and find the corruption. Oh, I just did. Okay, never mind. And I could have sworn I had smashed the shadow things, but I guess I hadn't. So let's just go down here and see. I thought I had done this. And I just realized that... Oh, never mind. I can I can mine, like, super fast. That seems, a, like, that seems a little bit loud, though. Let's go sound down to, like, 20%. There we go. That's a little less uh, crazy sounding. I just realized, I don't know if I... It looks like I haven't done the Shadow Orb things yet. Well, we're pretty far ahead, huh? Alright, let's go do one. And I guess I should smash all the things too, right? Alright, where's my hammer? A chill goes down my spine, of course it does. Like, why wouldn't it? Oh, there's a health thing. They're a little obsolete now, aren't they? Uh, do I smash all the demon altars? I think I've got one demon altar in this side room that I kept. Right? Right there, for crafting? Yeah. So I've, I can smash all the other ones I see. Because I have one left in my base for crafting. But we'll get to that in a second. Uh, we need... Yeah, one more of these. So this stuff is just, like, not hurting me at all. Okay. So we have awoken the Eater of Worlds, and I think the Flamethrower is just going to instantly kill this guy. Is that, is that accurate? Yes. That's highly accurate. That was immensely satisfying. I just want you guys to know. Okay, so he is like just not even a not even an annoyance. Ooh, hey, a chest. Check that out. What's in it? Uh just okay. I'll take the chest. Alright, let's go do that again. So I've beat the Eater of Worlds. I think I'm looking for a meteorite to land. I could probably sequence break this, right? But I don't know if I want to. Um, let's see. I like how the, the stars, like, actually reveal the map up there. That's pretty cool. Uh, is that really the only three orbs that were around here? Huh. Well then, I'm a little disappointed. I wonder what happens if I break one of these. Does that advance the... It probably does, right? Palladium. I think I meant to go through and break all these uh, as well. Let's see. Rialcum. Adamantite. Palladium. So breaking these just spawns a bunch of stuff. Um, wow, that's deep. How deep is this? Oh, uh, wow. Really deep. Really, really, really friggin' deep. Is the answer. Palladium, yeah. I'm trying to remember, does this make my world more dangerous? I got a band of star power. Alright. 
That was really, really deep. Look how deep that was. Giggity. What's that green thing glowing over there? I should. I feel like I should know that. It's Cursed Flame, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've already gotten that stuff before, I think. I am going to mine my way over to it and grab it. Now, let's see. It looks like there is something else below me. I'm kind of curious as to what it might be. I haven't played Terraria in a while. I basically recorded a bunch of footage in advance, and it's been slowly percolating my way through my editor's hands and then uh, up to YouTube. So I may be a little rusty, actually. I'm not picking up any of this. Is my inventory full? I don't need money. Like, anything that would just sell for money, I don't need at all. Like, this musket is just whatever. Like that, I would just sell that for money as well. Because my grinder is going to make me way more money than selling some random treasure chest drop. It kind of looks like the corruption extends quite far down here. I'm just wondering if, uh... I don't think there's going to be more cores, because they spawn in a very specific spot. And I'm trying to decide how much I want to go and read ahead on the wiki. I kind of don't want to. It's, it's really fun to, like, unwrap a game little by little and savor what you find from it. Don't you guys agree? That's how I feel. Silt is quite valuable to me, because Silt is, like, the only... Uh, way to get um, amber, I think. So I'm kind of going to greed for silt. Isn't that sad? It's like, ah, gold ore, whatever. Oh my gosh, silt, better get at that. <laughs> All right, uh, enough of this. Can I purge this? Do I want to purge it? That's a great question. If I take out the mobile piggy bank, grab the clintaminator. If I do this in every direction, give that a good, good rinse off. Yeah, that works pretty well. Just gets rid of the corruption. I feel like it'll probably spread back, though. But how fast does it spread? That's a geo. That's pretty cool. It may be a more uh, more suitable to do a concerted effort to get rid of it using the shaft method. And then, oh, hey, it's another another thing. And a bunch more, um, a bunch more altars. Uh, yeah, you use the shaft method. And that way you measure as you go and you, you know, you get it precisely done. Oh, another Eater of Worlds. That's pretty cool. It looks like my, um, my necklace by itself is enough to kill this guy. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. My, uh, Violent Star Veil vale is killing him. This boss is literally losing to a necklace. It's also immensely satisfying. I'm going to sort my inventory while my necklace, he loses to a necklace. Okay, I'm impatient. He 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 99% lost to a necklace. All right, let's see. Uh, is this place pretty much cleaned out? I think it stops over here, right? Oh crap! Better dig the other way. I don't think I'm getting out. Mm. Yeah, I better bail. Okay, so... Uh, that was easy. I'm gonna sort my inventory real quick. Well, that's kind of crazy looking. Check this out. So I got this living rainbow die. Oh my god. Wow. I'm looking nuts. I am fabulous. Alright, we're actually gonna use the living rainbow die for a little bit. Do I have any more? Eh, we'll just have to hope for more die. Let's go see if the if the guide has more to say. Help. Now what? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gather souls. So those souls can be gathered in a place of light or dark. Uh, damn it. What do I do? I did smash the altars. Okay, well, he's not, he's not telling me about the meteor anymore. And, in fact, there's the meteor. Um, I don't think I need the meteor at all, as far as I know. I wonder where it landed. Aw. Who's this? Oh, hey! This is the dungeon dude. Right. Uh, yeah, I had you on my other world, actually. Cool. I don't know if I have any use for you immediately. You do have nice gear. He does have pretty good gear, though, actually. I might want to grind for more of that later, but not right now. Maybe I need to go in the dungeon? I do have a hard mode dungeon now. And I do have a bunch of keys to open the chests in the dungeon. It may, yeah, 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 yeah. I bet that's it. I bet, I bet that's it. Oh, okay. Let's, um, I just take a teleporter down there. Now, which one was it, though? Uh, I believe it was the yellow one. I think it's this one. 
No. No, that was the wrong teleporter. Must be this one. Yeah, it's this one. Alright, well, let's see our gear. Okay, uh, I've got... I don't know if I need this. Water and lava. I think I can swap this out for more range damage. And more defense. Let's go poke our heads in here and look around. Alright, now I marked off the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go and investigate. I, I scouted the dungeon already, but on my way through here, I marked all the chests using torches. I am smart. So we just pull out the money trough. Go ahead and take a gold key. We'll probably go ahead and take... You know what? We could probably take, like, all of our keys out, right? Because this is what we're here to do. And maybe opening the keys is the way to progress. Or at least something that needs to be done. All right. Spiked cobalt shield. I've already got the obsidian shield, but that's pretty cool. So we can take that down, dismantle that, and that removes it off the map. Is that is that ore right there? What is that? Let's go look at that. That looks interesting. Ah, it's palladium. I think isn't palladium the weakest of the ores? Hmm. All right. Uh, I thought I'd see hard mode enemies in here. All right, the next one is up here, and that's another locked gold chest. What's this? Oh, oh, it's the one I, I forgot to mark. Apparently, do I have the key for it? It looks like a sky chest. Damn it! No, I don't have the key for it. What happens if I mine it? Uh, nothing happens. Okay. Well, that's good. I should have broke I broke it. Alright, so we can open the gold chest, though. A Muramasa is a material, which means I can maybe upgrade it into something even cooler later. So, that might be worth keeping. Are spikes useful for anything other than PvP? Okay. Let's check again. See, I'm so glad... Yeah, there's another one right up there. Let's take my torches here, and we need to torch up all around this here. And we can take these torches down. And so that makes it visible on the map really easily. It really pops out. So we need to go this way. I keep hearing about the boss called Plantera. When I see people just talking about the game, I see that name repeatedly. And I haven't beat whatever boss that is. And the fact that its name is, well, Plantera. Is that a person riding like a... I want this. Unicorn crossing the hallows. That's, that's amazing. Hey, it's another chest. Okay, I can open this one. A shadow key gold coin. Well, okay. And we shall take this. do kind of wish I had a brighter pet, but I think this guy is already on the brighter end of the spectrum, huh? Now, there's a lot of furniture around. I kind of want to run through here and grab all the furniture, just so it stops showing up. Do I have the inventory space for that? Not really, no. I can go ahead and add these items. The Muramasa and that. Uh, what else? And uh, what else am I unlikely to pick up? These stupid recall potions can die. Okay, I've made more room. Now I'm going to immediately use up all of the room I made. Well, shit. I guess I'll just bonk, bonk all the stuff off the walls and not pick it up. And if I really, really want it, I can just, you know, go run through another dungeon in another world, right? I do want to get rid of the spikes, though. It's probably smart to... Uh, make the dungeon safer before it gets more dangerous with, you know, more powerful enemies. Although it seems pretty weak right now. I'm not really being pressed hard. But if I remember correctly, it's supposed to get harder. So I think I haven't done what I'm supposed to do to make this place start, like, going nuts. Okay, I'm, I'm tired of trying to get rid of all this stuff. Uh, there is a chest up here that we were on our way to. Let's go check this one out. Ow! Never mind. I'm getting the stupid spike trap. Dark trap. Uh, I will. I am totally gonna make room for the dart trap. I, I don't really want any of the furniture, to be honest. Some random chair. I do want that painting, though. I like the painting. Uh, anyway, let's go up here. Open that. A magic missile. And a really sh crappy one at, at that, actually. It is a material, though. Okay, so it's a material, so I probably want to at least check out what it is crafted into. And not just, you know, blow it up immediately. Ooh, I quite like that that great wave painting. Reminds me of that Japanese painting. I, I think it's probably intentional. This way. I like how my icon on the map is like rainbow flashing now. That's kind of awesome. It has a very, uh, what it makes me think of is the old uh, Commodore 64 color palette. Also reminds me of Pocket Tanks, the game. Because that had the similar, like, old school, super vibrant color palette. Uh, this is an ice chest, and I don't think I have an ice... Oh... I was kind of hoping to open at least one of these things. Do I have a jungle key? Oh, I've got a jungle key! I can go get that jungle chest! Now I'm excited. Bothersome Mindux, eh? Skeletons. Well, that's not kosher. Can we get rid of you by mining your thing? No. You're just gonna stay there. Being 
obnoxious and... I mean, okay. Alright, uh, what can we get rid of? I'll take the potions. Alright, let's get rid of the chest now. Let's get over here. Not get hit by the spiky ball. Okay, yeah, I think I can just open this. Okay, guys, this is my first, uh, bot... I think, I think they're called biome chests or something. Uh, let's open it. Eh! Uh, nothing's happening. Do I have to click it? Jungle key. How do... How do I... How do I... Am I stupid? I'm right-clicking it. Nothing's happening. Oh, bother. I'll... Fine, fine. I'll go read the wiki. Hey, guys. I'm back. Okay, I looked up the bare minimum necessary to progress in the game. So, this says it's been cursed by a powerful jungle creature, meaning... Uh, well, Plantera. Uh, so I basically can't open any of these biome chests in the dungeon until I think defeat Plantera is the sound of it. So that's just, that's what I got to do. But I don't know how to get to Plantera. So I, I clicked on the Plantera article and I saw a picture of the boss and it looks pretty cool. And so I'm, I'm annoyed that that was spoiled for me, just even what the boss looks like. And I read like the first two sentences of the article, and it's, I have to beat all three mechanical bosses, then go in the dungeon and uh, go in the underground jungle and look for a pink bowl. So that's what I know. I didn't look at anything else. Uh, there's a gold chest somewhere to the east. There it is. And a, okay, another cobalt shield. Neat. And was that it? Is that it? We done? I guess, uh, yeah, there's one more up there. I'll just I'll just exit the dungeon by going up. Uh, so I need to kill all three mechanical bosses. I don't actually remember offhand uh, which ones... Am I out of gold keys? Son of a biscuit. Well, let's at least mark this one properly. Okay, is that also a gold one? Yep. There's no point in going up there then. Alright, let's head back and... Alright. I do like these dungeon trophies here. I'm gonna put these up here. Oh, I love that Great Wave painting. It reminds me of the Japanese uh, woodblock stuff. Guess I'll go stick a banner up here. Boop. And uh, let's go talk to the guide and see what this stuff is. Crafting. The Muramasa. Uh, Knight's Edge. Lightsbane. Muramasa. Blade of Grass. Fiery Greatsword. Oh. Oh, geez. All of them to make Knight's Edge, which is itself a material? Well then. Wow. Talk about your upgrade tree. Maybe I should have kept some of those old weapons. Uh, whoops. What about uh, Cobalt Shield is obviously, yeah, obviously the Obsidian one. We knew that. And then this. This is the, what is, woo, what is that? A Sky Fracture? Light Shard and Souls of Light. I want a Sky Fracture. That sounds cool. I want to fracture the sky. Uh, let's see here. It needed uh, uh, it needed souls of light. I got five, and it needed uh, light shards. Wait, so how many did it take? I don't know if I have enough. It needed sixteen souls of light. Uh, how does Avetches get such things? I need that thing that lets you spread the hallow, or I need to go find some hallow in my world. It's a good question where the hell that is. Alright, uh... Now, can I summon this guy? Get wrecked. I'm gonna leave the Mura, uh, Muramasa in here as well. So it remind me to work with it. Okay, guys, well, we have something to do next episode. Go work on mechanical bosses. Until then, as always, take it easy. Sound test, sound test, sound test! Ba 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 Bwe 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 b